get it. We have successfully gotten all the feed. This is a lot of feed, you guys. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So, do you guys ever wonder how much it actually costs, how much to feed all of our 40 plus farm animals? So I've been seeing a lot lately that you guys want me to do a, another video that I did a long time ago and that was buying feed for all of my pets in one video. So that's what we are going to be doing today. Just to preface a little bit, we typically buy our feed in like, not bulk, but bulk for us. So we buy a bunch of feed to stock up because we do have a lot of animals and if we didn't, we would be going to the feed store every single day. So today, you guys are going to be going on a feed run with me. So we're gonna go ahead and get all the feed that we are out of. We pretty much are running down to the very last bit of mostly all of our feed with the exception of our ducks, um, Penelope's feed, and the cats. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into that and so I can show you guys how much feed we actually buy. It's gonna be about 700 pounds of feed that we're buying today. So if you guys are excited to see how much feed we buy in a single feed trip and how much it actually costs, for us to feed our 40 animals on the farm. Make sure that you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and of course have a chance to my post notification shout out. All right you guys, well, let's go ahead and get right into the video. In the tack room really quick before we go. So I can show you that we are completely out of chick feed. We went through this whole bag of chick feed. We do have duck feed so we don't really need to get duck feed to be honest. Chicken feed, we are about to be out and I can fill up their little feeder today. So definitely need to get another chicken feed. This is the horse feed right here. So we have about a half a bucket left. And then also we do have this bag, but since three of our horses do eat this feed, we do go through this grain pretty quickly. Last bag of cow feed that we have. So cow feed, empty. This is Blaze's feed and Dinky's feed, completely empty. We just did their last feeding this morning with it. so. We definitely need to get feed for tonight for them. And the outside pig feed, they are pretty much completely out. All right, you guys, so we're in tractor supply. First things first is dog food. So we get this Victor Multipro, and this is the big bag. It's 50 pounds, because we have a lot of dogs. All the dogs are on this feed. This is the cart that we have today. This is the cart that we have today and we're gonna stack the feed like this because one of my subscribers told me to um, stack it like this rather than we usually stack it like straight up so we'll see if this is gonna work. This is what the cart's looking like now that we have all the horse feed and dog feed. So next up is cow feed. Cow feed has been like an outrageous price lately. They kind of lowered the price a little bit, so I'm really happy about that. So now we're gonna load up on cow feed. Cow feed is the feed that we go through the most. We literally go through so much cow feed. So we're gonna do four cow feed. This is the normal amount that we do. We always get four just because we go through them so much, just like um, the Purina Senior. So. Luckily, we've got Mike with us today, so Mike is doing all the lifting. I'm absolutely loving, though, this way of stacking the cart, so super awesome how this is stacking. Pig feed time. We have gone through so many pig feeds, as you guys know, we've done Missouri um, and the other one, the organic mini pig feed that's never here, so we've completely changed from that one, talked to a bunch of pig people and pig people, and we are now using this Purina Nature's Match for the outside pigs, and honestly, I was using the Mana Pro for Penelope, and I might even just start to switch over to this too, because she's still getting like that pig rust and like her droopy eyes, so I'm thinking that we'll probably switch her once I run out of the Mana Pro, but this is what we get for the two outside pigs. They don't really go through it that often either, and this is a 50 pound bag, and it's way more affordable than Missouri. The Missouri is like a 20 pound bag, and it's $20.99. Whereas this one's a 50 pound bag at $18.79, so way more affordable doing it this way. Our cart is really getting tall. We just gotta get some chick feed really quick. 
we are using this organic chick starter. I really like this one and especially because in a 40 pound bag. Um, so I think with the amount of chicks that we have, we got this one last time we ran out of it. So we definitely need to get another one. We're not at a point where we can just get like a bag this size. We definitely still need to get a bag at this size. Adding to the pile, and I think we've got one more left to go, and it's chicken feed. Last feed for today is the chicken feed, and they have pellet and crumble. We've been doing crumble for many, many months now, so we're just gonna stick with that. 50 pound, 16% layer crumble. Last bag of feed going on our pile. Oh my goodness. We did it, we have successfully gotten all the feed. This is a lot of feed, you guys. Now that we're done, we're gonna go check out. We've pretty much aligned these nice so that the cashier can easily check them out. So now that we have all of the feed, we're at the truck and it's time to load it all. So much fun. Okay, finally all the feed is in the truck. So much feed, my goodness. It's like so satisfying to see how much feed there is. Give me some happy animals. Yay, so glad that this is done. So we got everything unloaded and started to put them in their respective bins. So this is how much feed, two bags of the pig feed fills. This is I think three or four, I can't remember. Or no, this might have just been two because we did have a good amount left in there. One bag of Blaze's Feed because they only had the one. And this is like one and a half bags because there's the other half. This is a dinky in my tack room. So we have the chick feed, chicken feed, two of the cow feeds left that have to go in there, and then three horse feeds. What's up, dinky? Go on, girl. Oh, there's nothing for you. That was a successful tractor supply run. Like I said in the beginning, we literally got about 700 pounds of feed today. 14 bags of feed, roughly all about 50 pounds. I think one was just like 40 pounds, but the rest of them, 50 pounds. So just about 700 pounds of feed in one shopping trip. And we don't just go only once a month. So today's bill in total, if you guys have any guesses, what you guys think today's bill in total was, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. But we're gonna go ahead and tell you right now. So we got 14 bags of feed. So as you guys saw, we got one 50 pound bag of the chicken feed. We got two bags of the 50 pound pig feed. We got four bags of the 50 pound sweet feed for the cows. We got one 50 pound bag of Equistages Dumore and that's Blaze's feed. And then we got four Purian Equine Senior 50 pound bags and those are for the other horses. Then we got chick feed, which was the 40 pound bag. And then we got dog feed, which was the 50 pound bag of Victor. So our total was about $220. So that was for today's feed run. Now, how much does it actually cost to feed all of my animals? So let's go ahead and break it down. We go through one bag of cow feed in just two days. So it's 25 pounds of cow feed every single day. So it costs us about $5.50 a day to feed our three cows. Now for the horse feed, and this is for the three horses, so this is for Louis, Cash's, and Trigger's feed, we go through one bag of feed in seven days. So that's $3.42 a day to feed those three horses. Now for Blaze, 
he goes through one bag of feed in 18 days, so it only costs 93 cents to feed him. So obviously it costs a little over a dollar to feed the other horses, whereas him it costs a little under a dollar. That's just because his feed is cheaper and he does get fed less technically than the other horses because he is a super easy keeper. As far as the two outside pigs go, we go through one bag every two weeks, so they cost a dollar and 30 cents a day to feed the two pigs. And the duck feed, we haven't technically gone through a full bag of feed yet, but I did approximate this, that the bag of duck feed will last us 34 days. So the ducks actually cost us one of our most expensive is a dollar and 80 cents a day to feed two little ducks. We go through one 40 pound bag of chick feed every 21 days. So that puts the chicks at $1 and 40 cents a day to feed 22 chicks. So that's not too bad. And then for a chicken feed, we hardly go through chicken feed. This is our least expensive. It takes us about one whole month to go through chicken feed because they are free range. So they are only 51 cents a day to feed all of our chickens. Then our dog feed, we do go through that about every 30 days, which isn't terrible because it's only $1.56 a day to feed our four dogs. That's not terrible. Now our cat feed that lasts us about 20 days, so that's about 94 cents and that feeds all seven cats and a couple roaming neighborhood cats. Last but not least is Penelope's feed just because her feed is a little bit different. So her feed lasts her about 30 days, so it costs 75 cents to feed Penelope. And last but not least, it's not grain, but it is feed because it is a super substantial part of a horse's diet and it's their hay. So we go through about $14 of hay a day to feed all four of our horses. Now that we broke it down, each animal by day, it costs a total of $32.11 to feed all of our farm animals every single day. So every single day for us to feed every single one of us is $32.11. So you guys can do the math as well, but that's a little bit over $900 a month to feed all of our farm animals. Now, obviously a huge part of that budget is just the horses alone. Just in hay, we go through about $420 of hay. So if we actually just talked about grain, it probably is around $500 just for grain which isn't too bad technically compared to how much hay we go through, but hay is a super important part of a horse's diet and horses are probably one of the more expensive animals to own. So keeping that in mind, but I am so surprised. I've never done the math, but there you have it, you guys. That is actual numbers of how much it costs to feed over 40 farm animals. So I hope you guys enjoyed going to the feed store with us, doing a whole feed run, because that is literally how we do our feed runs, going with us and then breaking it down with me to give you guys actual numbers of how much it costs to feed over 40 farm animals here at our farm. So if you guys liked today's video or thought it was super interesting, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any videos like this. And of course, have a chance to my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to all you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,